Welcome to Meet and Match Digital Show of Linea Pelle Fair. Hello Roberto Liberti. <laughs> Buongiorno, hello Ayorietta, how are you? I'm good and I'm sure that you are super good today as well. Yes, yes, very nice and I'm very glad to see you and to stay with you with Linea Pelle. <laughs> Thank you. Roberto, tell me more about your journey as a designer and as a researcher. Yes, yes, I'm a, I'm a designer and uh, I work in a, a double uh, part of design, the world of a design, because I am a designer that work with a different company of different sector of made in Italy. So in the uh, sector of the uh, fashion or effects, uh, sector of the leather, of the footwear, or in the uh, interior design, uh, some th things also in the food design. So I uh, work with a lot of uh, company in my territory, there is a uh, Napoli and the uh, Campania region of the south of Italy. There are, it's very interesting because we work with a lot of uh, company that work for other brands so they are in the north of Italy and this is half of my work because the other part is the work with the uh, department in university where I teach and we can make research because I am a researcher and designer researcher in the um, eco design sector so I work a lot in this kind of sector. Wonderful! This means that material is one of the fundamental parts of your job. Yes, yeah, sure. Because I work, my research is always um, uh, to find a new kind of materials and a new kind of opportunity to work with different kind of manufacturers. In the, uh, so in these times, I will work a lot with the uh, eco sustainability sector. So I work also in uh, uh, to know how it's possible to create connection between two different um, company uh, to create a, a kind of uh, a sustainability uh, districts in the south of Italy because our um, idea and my idea is to create a lot of connection between new kind of uh, uh, possibility for the design in Italy and not only in Italy. So. This means that you are putting together small artisans, so those people that work with a slow time and slow manufacture, yes. correct? Yeah, sure, because I work a lot with this kind of uh, uh, focus in my work. It is low manufacturing because, you know, today everything is fast. So the globalization is fast. And uh, also we talk a lot in the research of uh, uh, world of design or the world of fashion or world of food, you know, the four, uh, four F of Italy, of Made in Italy, and uh, we talk a lot, uh, a lot about uh, fast food and uh, in opposite we work in the, our territory with slow food or we work a lot with uh, a lot of companies that work in the fast fashion but here in the, our territory we have a lot of uh, um, companies that work in the slow manufacturers as you know uh, for the men's tailoring, the tailoring is very slow. So we are a lot of this old uh, company that work, but there are a lot, so a lot of sector, a lot of materials in, in this uh, um, uh, environment of the slow. So it's very interesting because um, we, I always I go inside the company to to analyze this old traditionally uh, manufacturing in these kind of sectors. This also means that you are working in some specific direction right now. Tell me more about your latest project. Yes, uh, right now I am, is 
as a one year that they work in this kind of sector is the pottery because as you say I I work in different sector of made in Italy not only in the fashion of in furniture but more because you know today the fashion system design system the other is everything is connection so right now I work a lot with the, this kind of uh, company that work in the pottery and ceramics. Uh, in uh, the south of Italy, we have a very old uh, company named Capodimonte. Uh, is in uh, Royal, Royal Borbonic uh, family. Create this kind of uh, um, very old, uh, very excellent um, uh, company and uh, uh, production. Uh, um, you know how uh, in the there was. Uh, uh, several in, in in France. There we have in the uh, 700th century we have a uh, uh, Capodimonte. So I work with the, the ceramic and uh, this uh, to analyze the different kind of uh, uh, part of the manufacture. This very slow <laughs> factory uh, to um, enhance this uh, uh, production and so this is very interesting because we work not only uh, with the past with the, this kind of uh, very slow manufacturing but also to create some kind of innovation because this is the booth of uh, part because we have to think about about the future and what about ceramics as used for different typology of product from pottery and I assume maybe for interior, for objects, for components. Yes, yeah, sure. Because uh, pottery uh, also for work in the interior design objects, so a lot of objects. So we are working right now with uh, um, very small object as uh, the uh, coffee uh, cup as uh, I went here yeah, uh, some pro prototype and it's very interesting because we work uh, the, to analyze how it's possible with the old machine to create something new so with different colors because we are also finding the original colors to um, there are like 200 years a particular kind of red uh, that was in the kind of a pottery but there was a lot of uh, possibility work with this uh, uh, manufacturing because also there are a lot of artists there right now they are working with these uh, um, very interesting these, uh, uh, cultural heritage of uh, uh, pottery that are in Naples. So it's very interesting because it's inside an institute, they have a department that work with this kind of innovation. So uh, for innovation pottery, right now we are working also at 3D uh, prototyping. So it's interesting to create some connection between the past and the new way of the pottery. I think you are looking for other materials to be combined with uh, ceramic for the pottery. What are you looking for right now? I, I look a lot uh, of material, a lot of uh, connection between uh, there are uh, to, to put together pottery and the other kind of material. But I think there, the, it's very interesting to analyze the connection also with uh, some kind of uh, smart uh, innovation uh, technology. Because uh, it's very important, uh, I, in, in my advice, it's very important the traceability of the uh, manufacture that you made. Because I, would, I need to know how you create this uh, particular um, manufacture so, and where. Because uh, it's very important for the made in Italy now that I know that I made this only in this kind of uh, uh, um, company so is not made in other country because I think this is a new way of uh, made in Italy. I, I, a lot of, as a researcher I work in this kind of uh, what is the future of made in Italy so for me it's a, a kind of uh, 
I don't think there is a, a made in Italy for the future. Is a, a think in Italy because I can think some things here with the company here, but I can uh, realize in other parts of the world. So this is a very nice to connect uh, this uh, kind of company with other territory around Italy, not uh, because we are open. <laughs> Interesting to understand how you want to mix technology with a slow making the heritage one. So this means that you will, you will have some suggestion to Italian material company. What do you suggest to them? I suggest that it is very important. What is uh, uh, right now is very um, uh, diffuse in the food sector in the because in the food uh, uh, the, in Italy there are a lot of products I think that Italy is one of the uh, country with a lot of territory uh, so he uh, if I analyze only one kind of wine in Italy there are a lot in different territories north in center in south so it's very important uh, to analyze the, the the origin so you know uh, some kind of particular label to um, organize this kind of uh, very small company sometimes in the global market. So I think that uh, the food sector is very strong right now with a kind of uh, uh, also uh, system of traceability, for, for example. So it's very interesting that also other system as design uh, or fashion can use uh, some kind of this uh, uh, system, also normative uh, some for the lawyers that can help uh, uh, the small uh, companies, small manufacturers, very slowly, there are some, sometimes no one know um, to defend, to create the opportunity to enhance uh, for the in different kind of markets. So this is a, a very interesting for the, for the future, I think, for the Italian design. Thank you, Roberto, because your insights gave a clear direction that Slow making can be incorporated with technology and traceability uh, will enhance the story making of all of the variety of small companies that create an enormous proposal of texture, colors, uh, personalizations and applications. Thank you very much. Grazie. Thank you.